Hey there, it's Jim, and welcome back to Janku's GIMP photo editing series. Now, over here on our YouTube channel, we have a comment on one of our transparent gradient videos. Down here, X made this comment that they wanted to transition a photo into a fade, so having a solid image and transitioning half of it into a transparent fade. So in order to demonstrate this, let's go to unsplash.com and get a couple of images. So I'm going to grab this picture of this boy here, and I'm just going to download this. And we'll say thank you to Ben for taking this photo. And we'll save this file. And then let's come over here and let's grab a pattern, something like this looks pretty cool. And let's just download this as well. We'll save the file. So thanks, Alex. Great picture. And now with both of these in our downloads, so I can open up my downloads folder here, we can grab these images and let's just drag and drop these into GIMP. So it's asking to convert. We'll say convert and we'll convert the second one as well. Okay, so let's start with this picture here. So with my crop tool selected, I'm going to draw a region around him and I'll put it really close to the edge here. And then I'm just gonna make sure that this delete crop pixels option is selected. So if I don't select that and I were to click on this, you'll see that the layer that existed before will still have this border around it. So let's just control Z on that. Let's draw our region here and then let's say delete crop pixels and then click and that will make the layer the exact size that we want here. Now I'm just going to come here and I'll select our fuzzy select tool and I'll try to pick out these regions here. If I select that and I press control X, you see that it cuts this, but there's a white background here. So let's do control Z to go back and right click on our layer and say add alpha channel. And if we do control X now, you'll see that it's a transparent background. So we can do this kind of around the image like this and just crop out this background here. Zoom in if you want to get a little more exact. Now, this isn't great. There's still a lot of blue around the edges, but it's close enough for this tutorial since that's not what we're actually focusing on. Hopefully you have an image that's prepped a little better than this, but let's say that this is our starting point. Now, the way we can transition this solid image here from a solid image to a transparent image, kind of like we did with the gradient, we want to come over here to our layer with the boy here and right click on this. And then we want to add a layer mask. Now we're going to use the white full opacity option and we'll click add. And you'll see once we have that set up, we'll have this white layer over here on the right hand side. Once the layer mask has been added, let's just do a control A to make sure that we're not, we don't have anything selected. So you can see here, there's a little selection. So control A to unselect everything. In the newer versions of GIMP, the tools are actually collapsed here. So if you want to get the gradient tool, you come over here to the bucket tool, right click on it and you can select the gradient tool. And now we have a foreground color here of black and a background color here of white. You want to have the same thing set up. And we're using our gradient tools default settings here. So we're using a normal mode. If we come here, we can actually click and drag to change the transparency of this image. So you see the top of the image is now transparent, the bottom solid, and it changes based on how much we are dragging that across. Now we could go the opposite way as well. We can just move these points like this, have the bottom transparent, the top solid, and again, we can adjust that, or maybe we want it left to right. You could do something like this. And again, you could play with how much it fades in. So something like that might be good for our case. And once we have this set, we can just press enter to apply this to the gradient tool. Now that gradient has been applied. Now something you might notice, if you were to come back over here to your move tool and grab this and you were trying to move things around, it looks a little weird because we're actually moving that mask layer. So you see over here, this got moved. So I'm going to do control Z to go back. So if we don't want to move that, what we can do over here is we can right click back on this layer and we can say to apply the layer mask to make this one. So I'm going to apply layer mask. Now that white box or that gradient box has gone away and I can grab this image and I can move this around as one solid thing. I'm just going to press control Z to put it back in the center there. And now we can do something kind of cool. So we can overlay this over a different background if we wanted to. So I'm going to come over here and I'm actually just going to crop this a little bit as well. So I'll grab my crop tool again and I'll just select the top part of this image here and press enter. So that's been cropped there and let's just zoom in a little bit. It's a pretty large image. Now let's come over here and let's grab the image of our boy and let's control C to copy that and then control V to paste it over here. And then we'll say to a new layer. So floating selection, we'll right click on this and put this to a new layer. And now we have this kind of psychedelic thing where this boy is fading into this background here. And we can crop this a little closer if we wanted to get this more close to the image here. So we can come down here and do something like this. And 
and maybe again you might want to move so the image is up against the edges like this and let's crop a little closer here so that's a pretty cool effect and you can use this for any solid images that you want to transition from solid on one side to transparent on the other side use the gradient tool with the layer mask and then you can manipulate things and then you just merge those back into a single layer and create some really cool effects like this. So that was a great question. So thanks over here to X for posting that. If you guys have questions about things like this, please put them in the comments. So we actually take a look at these pretty often. We try to make videos to clear things up for folks. So don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel for more GIMP tutorials like this in the future. And we hope to see you on the channel real soon. Thanks and take care.